The Kedarnath Yatra is a pilgrimage trek located in the Himalayas in the state of Uttarakhand, India. The trek takes you to the Kedarnath Temple, one of the four sacred shrines in Hinduism known as the Chardam Yatra. The traditional trekking route starts from Gauri Kund and it's about 18 km long trek, passing through beautiful Himalayan landscapes and villages. You can take buses or private taxi from major cities in Uttarakhand like Haridwar, Rishikesh and Dehradun. After you reach Sonprayag, you will have to travel in a shared cab which is 20 rupees per person. This cab will take you till Gorikund. Further from Gorikund, the trek to Kedarnath begins. Timings of Kedarnath trek from Gorikund commences from 4 in the morning till 1.30 pm. This timing is fixed because Kedarnath is located in the Kedarnath Wildlife Sanctuary and therefore the pilgrims are not allowed to trek any time. No pilgrim is allowed to leave after this specific time. You will see so many waterfalls on your way to Kedarnath temple and you can drink it directly without any worries and it's so refreshed. The Kedarnath trek is a 18 km medium to steep trek which requires a good level of physical fitness. Before going for a trek, every pilgrim has to get themselves checked that whether they are capable of trekking or not. In the midst of the trek, there are proper facilities of tented accommodation, drinking water and small shops and restaurants are everywhere in the trek route. The Kedarnath trek facilities include the services of Dandi, Kandi and Ponies. Anyone can book these services from the booking counter at Gauri Kund or you can deal with them directly. The Ketana trek is a 18 km trek which starts from Gori Kund. Earlier, the route followed was from Rambara. It was a well developed, well fenced, and well facilitated trek route. However, the government has now changed the trek route of Kedarnath after the 2013 disaster, as the old trek route to Kedarnath was completely erased.
The route goes through beautiful Himalayan landscapes including forests, waterfalls and rivers. The trek takes about 6 to 8 hours to complete and the difficulty level is moderate. You need to obtain a permit from the Uttarakhand Forest Department to trek to the temple. Accommodation is available in guest house, lodges, campsites and the basic accommodation facilities in the temple premises. It's important to note that the altitude of Kedarnath temple is over 3500 meters above sea level. So you need to be physically fit and acclimatize properly to avoid altitude sickness. Avoid going by horse or any animals. It's not so easy for them to carry people for 18 kilometers. Make yourself fit and healthy before visiting here, so you can trek easily without any struggle. It will be a difficult trek if you haven't prepared well before visiting here. To reach Kedarnath by air, you can book a seat for yourself in a helicopter. If travelling by a helicopter till Kedarnath, you can from Dehradun as well as Haridwar and Rishikesh. We woke up early in the morning next day and the view was next level. The mountain that covered with snow is a treat to the eyes. The best time to visit is from May to June and September to October. Ensure to carry essential items, follow guidelines and respect local culture and traditions to have a safe and enjoyable trekking experience. If you want to avoid the long and arduous trek, you can take a helicopter from Guptakashi, Fata and Sirsi to Kedarnath. Helicopter services are available there and you need to book your tickets in advance.
During the Chardam Yatra season, there are several facilities available for pilgrims, including accommodation option, medical facilities, and food stalls. It is advisable to carry warm clothes, sturdy trekking shoes, and basic first aid supplies when trekking to Kedarnath, as the weather can be unpredictable and the terrain can be challenging. दो गमछे मिलेंगे एक गमछा ही एक गमछा ही मिलेगा चंदन मिलेगा सिंदूर मिलेगा जल भरने के लिए ये उधर सेटने के है क्या नहीं ये टच होकर ये वापस मिलेगा प्लस इसमें एक प्रसाद का पैकेट ऑलरेडी पड़ा हुआ है एक ये महाप्रसाद पड़ेगा इसमें ये 500 का बाकी ये नॉर्मल जो है ये 200 रुपए का ये तीन होंगे देखिए ना देखिए ना देख The final reach of Kedarnath is enough to overwhelm devotees with the chants of Mahadev. Temple covered in long ribbons of marigold garlands, long happy queues of devotees and the calmness of the Kedarnath. Visiting Kedarnath during the Chardam Yatra season can be a memorable and spiritually uplifting experience as you will be the part of large community of devotees who are all journeying towards a common goal. Kedarna temple usually opens for visitors in late April or early May each year and closes in the first week of November before winter sets in. The exact dates of opening and closing of the temple are determined by the Chardam Devasthanam board which oversees the management of the temple. However, it's important to note that the dates may vary slightly from year to year, depending on the various factors such as weather conditions and the local considerations. If you are planning to visit the temple, it's a good idea to check with the official websites of Chardam Devasthanam Board or local authorities for the exact dates of opening and closing before making travel arrangements. During massive floods in 2013 that tracked havoc in Kedarnath, Bhimshila miraculously withstood the ravages of nature, while the towering waters swallowed everything around it. This immortal sentinel stood firm, shielding the temple just as legend foretold. The rock which protected the temple is worshipped as the god's rock or Bhimshila.
दो हजार तेरह में जो अतराफ्ती आया आपदा आया उस आपदा में ये सिला आया था सिला आने के बाद ये खड़ा हो गया पहले उसके बाद जो पीछे से पत्थर और सिर पानी आया वो सब टकरा के इसमें डाइवेट हो गया डाइवेट होने के बाद मंदिर सुरक्षित रह गया बाकी आजू बाजू को सब साफ In the 2013 Uttarakhand floods, Adi Guru Shankaracharya's Samadhi next to the Kedarnath temple was washed away. Shankaracharya's new statue has been installed just behind the Kedarnath temple as part of its reconstruction project. And it is built by Mysore sculptor Yogi Raj Shilpi with nine other sculptors and his son Arun. PM Narendra Modi ji inaugurates and unveils the statue of Adi Shankaracharya later. Kedarna Temple is best visited during the summer months of April to June and September to last October. Families and friends can enjoy the mild temperatures of these months. The unfavorable temperatures and precipitations make this trek a per and post monsoon season trek. Temperatures typically range from 15 to 20 degrees Celsius during the day with substantially colder nights. Overall trekking to Kedarna Temple is a beautiful and rewarding experience. Make sure to carry essential items, follow guidelines and respect local culture and traditions to have a safe and enjoyable trekking experience. Snowfall, snowfall! often take ritualistic dip in the hot spring before embarking on the trek to Kedarnath. According to Hindu mythology, Gorikund is believed to be the place where goddess Parvati, also known as Gauri, performed intense penance to win the love and affection of Lord Shiva.